everyone welcome to the another video for building the react applications using a spring boot so on the last video we successfully installed our react applications and this all the files you can get when you install it so i'm going to explain a little bit about this what are these files are so first of all it will uh, go to the index html this will run at the first time and this file will has a only one id called root id so root id is defined on index.json index.js file here if it's root id then it will render the app and app.js is right here so this will uh, run at the first time when you start the app so after you install if you if you did installing everything it will tell you that npm style run build test inject stuff command so we will basically we will do here the npm start and it will run this application oops you need to go inside the uh, the app itself so it's uh, my customer app i create a customer folder inside the customer app that's funny well this is a tutorial so it's fine so i'm gonna do here to uh, so npm start so it will start my applications so if i check here after it's running it will start the my react application so let's wait for a bit okay once we are waiting it we are also need, using the bootstrap so let's get the bootstrap css from bootstrap just to make our work a little faster our bootstrap 4 get started css file I'll copy the bootstrap CSS file and I'll put inside here. You can also install the uh, using the npm But for now, I'm gonna put it right here. So now my CSS link of the bootstrap is attached So the first thing what we need to create is a header and we okay now my react application is start And we will create the layout header uh, stuff all right okay once it's building again maybe let's let's do some work here let's go to the source and let's create a new folder here called component and let's create another folder here called layout okay as you guys see that my react application is running as a learning as a logo it has busy file and doing all the, all this kind of stuff yes yeah, css loading stuff so if you go in index.js this is my app this is my function uh, component uh, functional function component and yeah it's running the app so but I don't want anything here so I'm gonna delete all the things whatever is here so I'll just save it here as a ASDF it will come as ASDF good so I don't need a logo I don't need a CSS so I don't need anything of this guy so I'll, I'll put this everything as a garbage all right so I don't need it I don't need it I don't need this guy as well so everything is empty okay so everything is empty we are using the bootstrap application so let's make the layout we are recreate a folder here let's create a header folder another folder and let's create the header.js file so in the header just create let's create the react component here so there are two ways to create a react component one is a class base and another is a function but we are using the function base because i read in some article that uh, it's better to use a functions and we are using the hook uh, using in using the life for a life cycle for a function i'm going to show you what are the hook are later on so let's go and start the uh, function based component and just want to let you know that I'm also using this uh, react a redox graph uh, extension so you guys can install this on your vs code editor once you get installed you can you guys can use a lot of shortcut such as the is, is this one so it's a react component a function component export if we do and tab then it will give you the headers it will give you right everything here so I'll just do whatever here just to show that how it works is exactly like the angular component you just need to post here the header and you need it will automatically import on the top sometimes it does not so you have to literally write where it come from but when it does it will give me that guy all right that guy good now the, the, on the headers we need definitely need some nav bar here so we will get that from bootstrap so let's go to the bootstrap and let's get the nav and let's grab this guy uh, not this guy. Is there a good nap? I think this guy is a good nap. Let me make this bigger a little bit. I want to see how it really looks. Oh, I'm in nap. So let's go nap bar. Okay, I'll just copy this guy and I'll just close this as a minimum size again. And this is my our API. I don't. We don't need anyone API. 
we need bootstrap and we're using react app so here we just paste it up when i paste it it will give me some errors definitely because uh, in react this is you in, in a function components when you return something here it will it will return the jsx it's called the jsx and jsx has their own little bit kind it's kind of like rendering the html but in html also there is a couple of the their own uh, uh, own own command i would say uh, because instead of the class it, it, it jxx attribute will take as a class name if you guys want to read more about jxx then you guys definitely can go in react and you can search about the jsx and there's an introduction part for the jxx how it really works so this is how the react works react will render this html as a jxx and it will show in a screen that's how it does so now why it's showing the error is because when you when you copy this guy input tag is not even close so it doesn't know input is not close once i close this input from nav bar then you will see there is no error and you will see the really nice nav bar on the top but i'm gonna tell you that it will give me the error here using the class name or tab index so as i mentioned before jxs has their own kind of term terminology to use the proper proper syntax i would say so here we should use a class name instead of a class so now it will remove so how i select this you have to do in vs code editor you can do Control d and you can select everything it's pretty easy to select everything so there's something called tab index so you can search a tab index and yeah you can sort how many tab index are there there should there is only one tab index so the tab index so it will remove this error as well okay so that's good so now we have a header which is working perfectly fine and if we little make a little bigger then you will see this guy as well but we don't want this everything so i'm going to remove that guy so that guy is uh this is the div here so i'm going to close this div okay so we don't want the sort we don't want this form sorts i'm not sure why i did that but before when i close it but i just want to show you guys how that works also that's good so i'm going to remove this i'm going to remove this now it's going to it's going to give you only me give me the nav bar all right so now it's going to give me nav bar i'm going to show you the how nav bar really looks it's nothing it's just div and nav bar and nav so this is our header so here on the bottom we're going to load the uh we're gonna create a table and we're gonna load the the customer there all right so that's how it works so this we create a header now we were good so in a component the first component we will create is a customer did i create a folder or oh yeah if i do a folder yeah i need to create a customer folder and i'll just do here customer.js so similar react export uh function component of uh, react function component export so we will return this customer and we will put here the customer so to do that we will get a table we'll get this table and we'll just copy this whole table and we'll put it inside here inside this return function on a customer i'm going to make this small as well little so on this return functions all right so once i did this uh, I'll just close it. I don't need this. So I need to put this customer in our main.app.js here inside. So I'll do it as a customer here. So once I do customer here, if I save it, then we will see customer is not defined. So we have to get this customer. So we'll get the customer from here. So once we did that, we will see the customer here. Very nice customer. Okay, so there's still the error and the class name. As I mentioned before, JXX has their own style. Uh, so instead of a class we could use their class name so now this will go now we will see this guy and this guy maybe on next video i'm going to get the fits the data from the apis and i'm going to show you the, all the data from the apis here and that's all for this video thank you very much for watching